On the 10th of February 2024, I was talking with some people on a Discord server when someone I knew from another server joined. Now at first I thought, huh, small world. But as I spoke with more and more people, I realized that the experience of meeting familiar people in different communities was quite common. Now this got me thinking. The communities I participate in aren't very large, and from what I knew, there weren't that many of them. It would be really interesting if somebody were to make a resource that somehow displayed all of these servers in one place and showed how much overlap in membership there was. And that's how this project began. Sintu once said, in order to perform data analysis, one must first find data. Finding Discord servers seems like a simple task at first. There are a ton of websites online whose sole purpose is to advertise Discord servers, so naturally I just went on Discord and... oh. There are a very large number of music Discord servers, but many of them focus more on the social aspects surrounding music, rather than the creation of music itself. There are probably interesting insights to be gained from analysing Mavericks, Dating, Friends, Chill, Active, VC, Eco, Gaming, Anime, Nitro, Emoji, Stream, Life, Meme, but I also don't really care. Also, a lot of interesting music Discord servers like Plug Data and Sunfox don't appear on these lists, so I decided to go primarily through word of mouth. Once I had the list of servers to map, I went about looking for how to collect the member lists of the servers. There isn't some convenient export as CSV button or official API documentation, but fortunately some smart people have written software tackling the tough part. Using a variant of the Discord.js community library, I was able to grab member lists from a client's cache and store it. The next step was processing my data. Being a good data science student, the first thing I did after forcing the data into neat pandas tables was to slam all the data into a huge grid. And the grid actually worked pretty well, but the more servers I added, the less readable it became. I went around and shared the grid with some of the servers I was in, and while discussing it, someone showed me this diagram of communities on Twitch. I thought the visualization was really cool and matched the data I had well, so like any good artist, I faithfully went to analyze and recreate my music. Just kidding, I stole it. Fortunately, the person who made the visualization also left a little blog post on how they made it. In the blog post, the creator said they used an open source software called Gephi. So I opened it up, troubleshooted some of the weirdest issues I've ever seen in software, learned basic network analysis, and made my first network visualization. I always felt that network visualizations lend themselves well to the interactive web. There's just something about scrolling along a huge dataset and amusing yourself with all the different relations that reveal themselves. To make the interactive graph, I used a JavaScript library called Fizz.js, which has a ton of features for visualizing networks like physics, interactivity, and even a Gephi importing feature. With a little HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I cobbled together the website. If you want to play with the code or make something similar yourself, the GitHub link is in the description, as well as a link to the version I have hosted online in case you just want to play around with the app. The most interesting result from the graph, I think, was how Excel's Flute Gang isn't actually too deeply related with music production Discord servers, at least compared to Mr. Bill's server and Forum. It's also rather interesting that Creo, Excel, and Tanja servers were all pretty close to this rhythm game cluster, even though I didn't scrape the Geometry Dash server which the songs are closely associated with. The other interesting thing I found was that the more servers I added, the closer to the center Forum seemed to go. It was connected to 101 out of the 105 servers in the dataset, which is around 95%. Now if you're anything like me, that begs the question, which servers were not connected to Forum? Well, I checked and these are the results. I also checked which servers were not connected to Bilegal, Cohen, and Maiden. Other than the network, I also decided to graph out the growth of the music Discord servers since I had the member lists available. It's interesting to see that a lot of Discord servers had some pretty huge growth around the start of last year, Form in particular seems to have grown by huge margins every year around the time of All Nighter. The huge grid that I used at the start also contains some interesting insights that don't carry over well to the network. To read it, you go to the left side and choose the first server, and go to the bottom and choose a server. You can then say something like 55% of the assembly is made of members from Azali assembly. This is useful for seeing servers which are spin-offs or sister servers, because the network diagram doesn't show connections between small servers very well. With the diagram, you can see that a lot of Stasis fanbase is also in Mr. Bill's fanbase, and a lot of Glitch Cats is in Tanjo's. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. I usually make music videos and stuff, so this is a little out of the ordinary for me. Let me know in the comments about liking the video if I should make more. I'd like to give some special thanks here to the people who contributed quite significantly to the project. 
as Saren contributed a lot of ideas and was in general really helpful. Vic is last is the person that introduced me to the Twitch visualization and got Gephi on my radar. He's also the one that suggested making this video in the first place. Last but not least, I want to thank everyone who contributed to the project and interacted with it.